Good morning. It is a cold, wet, rainy day here in North Carolina. And today I want to see if I can take some interesting photos of this field today. So come along and enjoy this adventure. My ADD is kicking in a lot here. I hear Bob White's calling all around me. And every time I hear one call, I turn to see what's going on here because I really would hate to miss a Bob White walking out here. But let's talk about this image a little bit here. Um, I really have an image in my mind. So I want some of the wheat in the front to be out of focus and obviously the wheat in the back to be out of focus. And to achieve this, I'm gonna be shooting in a shallow field of focus. Now, there's a couple of things I have going on here. One, the wind is constantly blowing. So I've taken a few test shots and to really freeze the grain so it's not moving, I'd be shooting at a minimum of 800th of a second, one eight hundredth of a second. To achieve that today, I am shooting an ISO of 2000. I'm shooting F6.3 and that's giving me a shutter speed between 1000 and one eight hundredth of a second. Um, and I have to wait for the wind to really calm down before I take the images. So I'm taking dozens and dozens of images and I will edit out the ones that are bad. Hopefully I'll have one or two that's in pretty good shape here. So what I'm doing is just waiting for the wind to stop uh, blowing. I, what I want is when the viewer looks at this image, they are drawn into those grains that are in focus. Now, I have a couple of ideas what I'm gonna do in Lightroom. Um, I wanna bring the colors out and I might even do this in black and white. So the next time you're gonna see me, I'm gonna be at my computer showing you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select a couple of images and I'm gonna show you how I edit these images. Okay, this is the image that I selected to be um, for this video here. Now there's a couple of things I didn't like about the video. Because it's so cloudy, it kind of the colors have washed out a little bit. And if you look here on the right, there are these sticks here and I really do not like them. When I was taking the pictures, I noticed them, but I didn't think they'd be as dramatic as they are too. The other thing I don't like about this, this image should have been shot in uh, landscape. It should have been shot in portrait. So I'm gonna try and fix that right here in cropping it. So I'm in the develop module in uh, Lightroom. And what I'm gonna do is just um, manipulate the cropping tool. And what I wanna do is this kernel right here on the left, I want it fully on the left-hand side of it. And I want this kernel and this kernel and this one here are gonna be the ones in focus. Now, something that bothers me about this image here, if you notice that a couple of kernels as they move to the right are gonna get cut off. I can't do much about that, but it's this is definitely an artsy farty image. So I'm just gonna hit enter here. That's gonna uh, uh, crop this image here. Now, before I go any further, the next thing I want to do is make a virtual copy of this image so that when I edit it in the next half of the video, I'll show you what it looks like in black and white. But just right click on it and then hit create virtual copy. And that's just going to make a copy of that image on in Lightroom. So we're going to go back to our first image here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the white balance too cloudy and that's really going to bring out some of that color in the image and I've really played with this a little bit and I found that this auto here for this particular image is really good I do want to bring the tones up just a little bit uh, and I want to bring the shadows down just a little bit and haze up now I wanted to get these kernels to be like they are and really pop the image now this is a really artsy fartsy image but that's all I'm going to do for the color image. And I think that looks pretty good. So in a second here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit this in black and white. Okay, so right now I have the virtual copy that I made of this image here. Now something I'm going to do, and I'm not a big fan of presets, but if you look over here on the left-hand side of Lightroom, you have this preset table. Now, if you want to see what a preset will look on your photo, you just hover your mouse over an image and it will show you what it will look like. Um, I've been playing with this for a while, and this punch one, this uh, B and W punch, really looks sharp. 
Now, at any time, if you decide that what you've done hasn't worked for you, you can always hit reset and it will bring you back to the original photo. Not the photo you made the virtual copy of, but the original image. So I'm going to use this punch here. There's just a few things I want to do here. I want to bring the highlights up a little bit, and I want to bring the haze over to the uh, right a little bit or down a little bit. This one it's opposite of what it should be. But anyways, um, what I like about this is all these dark parts of the grain really start to pop. The outer uh, focus pieces almost look like they're enveloping the kernels that are in focus here. And this little darkness here, at first I really didn't like it. But I got to tell you, now that I see it in the image, I really like it. So that's basically all I'm going to do to this image here. I am really happy with the way this looks. Well, those images weren't as good as I was really hoping they would be. Um, I was very disappointed with uh, it overall. I did take 140 images, and out of those 140, about three of them were without any movement at all. And part of the problem was that I was looking at the back of the camera and I realized that I really did not get the detail I wanted in the back of the camera. So that camera, that wind really interfered with my ability to take those pictures and I was very disappointed. And I should have tried a few different things and I knew I should have done that, but I was feeling so confident about those images. So I'm hoping you got some time there. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leone. Thank you for doing it.